Hello everyone, the topic of this video tutorial is the functionality Define Target Endpoint in the QSAR Toolbox. Defining the target endpoint in advance filter out the appropriate databases and profiling schemes that will be used to collect experimental data, apply profilers as well as find analogs for prediction purposes. Define Target Endpoint functionality is implemented in the input section. To define a target endpoint we need to open a new document, Type the chemical identification number and confirm the input. Go to Define Endpoint. A new dialog opens where we see a list of four expandable levels of information that correspond to the general levels of the toolbox endpoint tree. Each of these general levels consists of additional sublevels which are displayed down. To define a specific endpoint, we need to know which of these general levels of information it is associated with. Two examples are going to be demonstrated targeting two different endpoints. The first example is associated with aquatic toxicity to fish. For this purpose, we open the ecotoxicological information and select the aquatic toxicity sublevel. Other sublevels of metadata fields associated with aquatic toxicity open automatically. This structure follows the endpoint tree hierarchy of the metadata fields associated with aquatic toxicity. For each of the data fields, an appropriate value can be selected from the drop-down lists by clicking on the small triangular button on the right side. Open the list of the field effect, use the filter to type mortality and select it from the list. For the endpoint level, enter LC50 and select it from the list. We can use the plus sign to select multiple values if needed. For example, for the mortality effect which is already defined above, we can combine the LC50 and EC50 endpoints. Use the plus sign and enter EC50, select it from the list and click the plus sign again. We see the selected two endpoints here, LC50 and EC50. The duration level opens a field where we need to set the duration manually. In the current example, we are going to set 96 hours. The next three levels are highlighted in orange. They correspond to the kingdom, phylum, and class of a selected test organism also known as the taxonomy information. They will appear in the endpoint tree after the selection of the organism is confirmed. Enter Pimefails Promulus as the specific organism and confirm. The color legend window that appears contains more information about the meaning of the colors displayed in the endpoint tree. Select Do Not Show Again if you no longer want to see this window and click the button OK. Here is the view of the defined endpoint. There is an easy way to get to the defined target endpoint if we want to make additional modifications or undefine the endpoint. To do this, right-click on the line corresponding to the defined target endpoint and select target endpoint from the menu. Here we see several options. We can copy the endpoint, define it, define it here, define it from the clipboard and undefine it. Copy. This action copies the endpoint and we can paste it to a new target chemical using the Define from Clipboard option. Define, this action opens the target endpoint and we can make modifications. Define here, automatically defines the target endpoint on the line from which the menu was requested. Define from Clipboard inserts the copied endpoint. We are going to modify the endpoint to include all fish organisms. For this purpose, we use Define and then click on Modify Hierarchy. A new window appears with the data fields corresponding to the default endpoint tree hierarchy on the right and all other data fields in the left list. To define all fish species, we do not need a specific fish name, so we need to remove the test organism species layer. Select it and move it to the left list using the arrow. Confirm with OK. Select Actinopterigi from the drop-down list and click the OK button. By this way we set all fish species at once and now we can start to collect data and analogs for the target chemical. To learn how to do this, please watch the corresponding video tutorials. For the next example, let's open a new document and enter the chemical by its unique identification number. After that, go to Define Target Endpoint and open the Human Health Hazards level. Select the sensitization sublevel. Here we see the metadata fields associated with endpoint tree hierarchy sensitization. Let's start to select the value from the drop down lists. For the first data field, organ, select skin. For the type of method field, select in vivo. For assay, select local lymph node assay, and for endpoint, 
select EC3. Next, click the button OK. Now we see the target endpoint in the endpoint tree highlighted in yellow. All the relevant knowledge and data in the system has been already reorganized and highlighted based on the defined target endpoint, showing the most relevant profilers and databases for collecting analogs. How to collect experimental data and apply profiling schemes for the target chemical you can learn from the tutorials number 5 and number 6. Congratulations, you learn how to define the target endpoint in QSAR toolbox.